Hey, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the beautiful cardinal that I saw at the bird bath, hoping to get a picture. Have you ever been waiting for something? Let's go to Children's Chapel and talk about it. Good afternoon and welcome back to Children's Chapel. I was outside and we'll talk about that in just a minute. It looks a little different today. Um, I have a green cloth because we're still in the green season. I have a candle. I brought my prayer labyrinth from Camp Outreach. If you have those, maybe you've been using it when you say a prayer or just as a meditation to calm down. So I put that here on my cloth. And I brought a bell today, call to worship like we do outside the sanctuary. Many of you get to ring the bell. And so we're gonna go ahead and start our um, collect and we're gonna do our collect a different one today. Uh, it's gonna be on the screen behind me, but I'll say it, we're gonna do it responsibly. So here we go, here's our first line. Open my lips to praise you. Open my lips to praise you. Open my heart to feel you. Open my heart to feel you. Open my eyes to see your love all around. Open my eyes to see your love all around. Amen. Well, did you see the bird bath? I've been watching this cardinal the last few days and he's come up and gotten the bird bath. He's been out in my yard and for some reason I recognize which cardinal it was. So today I thought I'm gonna put some fresh water in the bird bath. I'm gonna get out there with my camera and there he's gonna be and I'll be able to see him. Well, as you saw earlier, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. He never came to the bird bath. I even wore my red shirt because I thought, well, maybe he'll think I'm just a really large red cardinal out there at the bird bath, but it didn't work. He didn't come. Have you ever waited for something? Have you ever gotten a present and you had to wait until later to open it? Maybe it was your birthday and you had friends coming and you already had a present on the kitchen table, but you had to wait to open it. Maybe you went to a movie and you, had to, you were really excited to see the movie, but you had to wait until the movie started. Right now, it's kind of like our world is in a waiting period. We're kind of waiting is school gonna start? Is school not gonna start? Is there gonna be a vaccine for the COVID-19? When is it coming? Will you ever not have to wear a mask again? When will our lives become normal? And if you're like me, you've probably been saying some prayers and calling out to God to end this virus or find a cure or keep people from getting sick, or give lots of direction to the people who are making decisions about school starting or not. If you've been in the store, you may have looked around and saw school supplies going out and thinking, I'm going to wait because I'm not sure what's happening yet. Am I going to school? Will I get a new backpack? Will I need to do that? So we've been doing a lot of waiting and sometimes it feels like we are waiting on God. We say our prayers, maybe every night, every morning, and we kind of think, well, God isn't answering us. Where is he? Well, I want to read a little from Psalm and Psalms is in the Old Testament. Many of the Psalms was written by David, and we think of David and Goliath. Remember, he slew the, the Goliath, the giant, and then he later in his life became King David, and he was a very good king, but he wrote a lot of the Psalms. And Psalms are, if you open your Bible to the, kind of the middle, you're gonna find them. They come before Proverbs. And they're prayers, they're poetry, they're times that King David was calling out to God, and in Psalm 27, 14, it says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yea, wait for the Lord. So he's just reminding us that we have to wait on God sometimes, and we don't understand it, but we're still waiting. And so what do we do in that waiting time? We say our prayers, we remain hopeful, 
we keep having faith. And what I'm doing in my waiting time, it's like waiting for my cardinal, I'm going to draw a picture. And I've started drawing, I asked you to bring a piece of paper and a pencil today. So you may wanna look out in nature and think about all the beautiful things God does give us. And maybe you wanna write about them. Maybe you wanna make a poem or a psalm or a, um, a prayer about them. Or maybe you just wanna draw a picture. And I started with my bird bath and my cardinal. And of course, I'm gonna to have to go back and make him a little bit better and maybe color it in. I've got some watercolors and I thought maybe I'll just paint and wait on God to kind of give us direction because we know he's listening, even though sometimes our world seems like we just don't understand what's going on. But our hope is in Jesus, and so let's keep that hope. Let's go ahead and say our prayer. We're gonna use our hand prayer today. Remember the first one is a praise, and Psalms is full of praises. So all our my, mighty God, you are awesome. The next one is I'm sorry. I'm thankful. What are all the things you're thankful for? Your family, your home, a lot of the things that you're getting to do there. Help others. Help people um, create a vaccination. Help people stay safe. Help people remember to wear a mask. Help me, God. Help me, God, wait. Wait on you. Wait for our world to be normal. And in the meantime, keep our faith, keep our hope in Jesus, say our prayers, and find good things to do, like draw pictures of nature and write stories and tell stories about God. And the last one, I'm listening. Amen. I'm going to blow out our candle, and we'll see if we see our Holy Spirit smoke. I can see it. There it goes. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. We're going to do another psalm and talk about uh, the book of Psalms and all the beautiful poetry and prayers that are in them. Bye-bye.